Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for coming back and watching another NBA 2K video with Chris Dash and likewise I got a commentary on a rising all-star game for the rookies and this is going to basically take on for the world and likewise for the United States of America's basketball team, um, the players who play for America. So thank you guys for coming out and watching another day of NBA 2K action. And please like and subscribe and please come back and come watch his channels um, videos that I got coming up in the near future. I got some great footage of characters that you might want to meet up with or link up with that are pretty cool that I'm making a little bit of a storyline towards it and still um, giving it a name or still giving it a voice. Um, so let's get right to it, man. We have some players who are on the world team and the United States team. So, so far from what you know, and what other people should know is that the character that I'm playing is going to be playing for the United States of America's basketball team for the Rising Star game. And likewise, there's going to be a lot of stars around and um, surveilling the situation that hopefully they're trying to win this game. Um, as an individual who plays for an opposite team and comes towards um, a situation like this, my coaching staff has ended up making it to this Rising Star game and likewise myself making it here by getting coached by the coach who was actually running the star team um, for the Rising Star team for the United States of America's team. Um, I got some great stuff that I want to show you guys. I got some moves and most likely in the near future you will see more things coming up. This was taking place during the weekend between the january 25th to the 26th so um i was able to get some footage out and was able to make sure that this footage was going to be good it took a while to edit i would in front to you it took a while to edit but most likely um i'm very proud of what was going on there was a lot of updates happening throughout the time being of that week and um a lot of situations ended up after being um taken out of the picture i wanted the look to be a little bit more different with more angles and using the camera angles in um the options section where i can actually be able to switch up the camera angles to give you guys much more of a view i'm not too sure what kind of view you play at i play on multiple views but um this was one of the favorite ones that i was actually looking at and um this view is really cool because you get to see the whole court from a very very look down type of stage situation so it's not on the floor and you get to see all the players if you know what they look like you would actually see it or look at the number you would know um zion williams was in this rising all-star game with um the rookies and the upcoming potential guys who are coming to step up in the league rj bennett is another big name that ended up was in this um event too and he was basically one of the captured people that i was actually putting on um as the rival of the team that we are playing and likewise um we have some of the guys who are from the storyline of the game that are going to be participating in this situation too and um he makes it from the timberwolves and he ends up going to um the best team that ends up picking him to going towards um the teams and whatnot likewise we had a lot of entertainment with the ladies the ladies who were cheering for the stars game and the rising star games and they were just doing their thing and um i had to make sure that i had to get you guys some great footage from them because you know i mean they got the whole crowd rocking over here with these camera angles and stuff going on so i most definitely had to put it in there and just had to show you guys some great stuff man um i can't wait to see the all-star game coming up soon um a lot of situations have got switched around we just learned that um some new participants are going to be involving themselves into all-stars and making those steps like pascal siakam okay um if i did not pronounce that properly please leave that in the comment section below and let me know that i did not pronounce that properly but for the most being um i think i did say that correctly and um lots of things are happening you know i mean Kawhi leonard is going to be there too he's going to be making an appearance there's a lot of names on there man lebron james is going to be making an appearance yo there's a lot of name um i don't think steph curry is going to be making it this year um out of popularity wise he will make it every single year for um a fan favorite 
Um, but I think towards health situations, I think he's not going to be participating because he hasn't played his last couple recent games in um, his home his hometown. Uh, uh, likewise, for the city that is taking care of him and most definitely watching him flourish as a basketball player and grow as um, an individual like he is right now. Um, one thing about it too, man, a lot of people are going to be on that list, man. So please go to the NBA.com official website and please go set in your balance. Um, I think they're still taking polls. I think they're taking polls, but if they're not, please let me know so I can take that out and most definitely say, yeah, it's not there. Confirm that with me. Please let me know if that's possible, if they, you can still do that. Um, Likewise, it's in Chicago, man. It's in the city of Chicago this year, man. Chicago is going to get an upscaling um, event that's going to be taking place in their city in Chicago, Illinois. And um, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing to have um, seen the NBA travel throughout city to city. A lot of people are going to be going to see a lot of statues with... Um, Michael Jordan and stuff like that and it's good because it's it's like the city of Michael Jordan's legacy you know what I mean when it comes to basketball in general and a great team and a supporting cast and great coaches that stepped through there and um everybody who put, pitched in and made um that much of a smaller difference and made it made it the way it is and making it feel cozy towards um feeling like just humble itself like just humbling building you know what i mean but with the intensity of like winning is it's amazing man they come from a winning background um as an organization just in general um putting stamps down on a lot of people's careers and i was just happy to be fortunate to be in the rising star game with these rookies um last year i played two years so this is my second year right now this is my second year playing um, NBA 2K as like um, as my player going throughout my career I didn't make the rookie team I honestly didn't make this I didn't make this lineup to be totally honest I was playing that bad I was not I didn't make it um, and I had to fast forward that situation and just let it go my guy was not the best right now to this day my character is a 99 overall and he's a three level scorer and um basically you can do anything from the three-point line mid-range and towards going to the basket between layups and dunking and finishing around the buckets and my guy is really good because he's a left-handed player um i wanted to get that feel with josh smith if you guys know who josh smith is he played for the atlanta hawks he he his career was really good um at the beginning of his career kind of because um he was a slashing um shot blocker or rim protector and he played that at a very high pace, and he was really good at protecting the rim at his size. And I really wanted to get something like that in, um, something like Trace McGrady with the the level three kind of feeling, where he can score from um, the three point line to the mid range and finishing around the basket when he was like on Orlando Magic's. Um, and last but not least, the dunking package. Real realistically, I want him to have good dunking packages so I can be able to perfect these, and it will make your character move so much fluently when you have these type of movements on your characters. Just to show you guys that it, it took me a really good um situation to actually figure out what my character can do at the beginning of the year, and I was playing throughout that time being. I didn't even make playoffs. And um, it's just a great feeling to come back to something like this because I didn't end up winning or even being able to be participating in something like this. So um, I just feel that, you know, what I mean, all jokes aside, um, I put on a show and whoever won it last year, won it last year and won the trophy last year, the Rising Star um, Challenge um, out of the rookies and the sophomores. And um, I, I put on a performance. I was just going fuego from three-point line to the mid-range to going to the hoop getting finishing around the bucket getting layups helping the teammates getting buckets lobbing zion up i got to throw him a lob in the game i was able to do a lot of these things that um that you would hope to do when you actually get to play with these individuals and then you got new individuals who are making rosters and trying to do things for their team and continuing um the the legacy of winning and and with the proper way of doing it with 
the coaching staff with a um a hint of the coaching staff, like the essence of the coaching staff, and likewise um knowing what you do, what as you did it to making it here, and likewise the drills that they make you participate in that you are going to see um evolve into the game that they're saying these are the quality shots that we want you to play as a system i play for the new orleans hornets this year we're right now 27 and 16 and we're doing really good um with um trying to find our pace in throughout the season um as a rising star and someone who come is is back in the league and got chosen to come back to the league again um i feel that you know what i mean my shot is still as good as anybody else as um making anything happen i'm getting tweets a lot of people are tweeting i'm getting new fans and um they're starting to vibe out with me they tell me how they feel about the games and i have stars um hitting me up on the phone on the two-way and letting me know that like you know i mean they seen that dunk or the highlights throughout the nighttime when they probably got home and whatnot and watched it the highlights and got to see it and whatnot because they do have real life after after work hours after playing in the gym and working at work and getting to practice and coming after the game i was going off i was i was happy i got that ball to um one of my um roommates that was bunking with when i was getting to be a rookie and he had the highest potential in um the room to be between me and him and i had to make something happen so basically it was really good and um basically that's what it was uh the team i played for was um denver nuggets i played with the denver nuggets i played with um jamal murray and Jokic, um and it didn't work uh it just didn't work the vibe did not click murray was out for a whole season after playing 23 games and i thought it was going to be my turn to step up but i actually did not even understand that um, a point guard like that can actually help me and when I was playing um, my nation my nation was actually showing me that Murray actually creates um, situations for me to get open because um, at a certain time and point I was missing shots and I couldn't really get anything down and I know you're gonna be like you should have averaged uh, something something but like you know I man, I didn't make it I'm just letting you know I didn't make it I didn't participate it realistically and here again is the cheering on they're cheering on the ladies who are dancing and putting on a great performance and uh, another commercial time goals and i was able to get some hop steps in the game got to get that hop step in the game working the joysticks getting some new fans off the fast break and it was really good you know my pull-up jumper fade away oh it did not go down but clark you know me with the memphis grizzlies building around their young aspect talents and knowing that um through youth it will give them some great crops of great things um right now it's looking really good you know i mean their team looks really young um when you're looking at age average when you're looking at age average when you're looking at the team you're looking at um how much knowledge does every individual walk with but not only that they're fresh to a market called the nba and they're still willing to learn and still participate with the skills that they already have with the youth that they have so it's really good um that um i was able to you know i mean see a lot of these guys step on the floor and play with these guys because usually i was play against them like look at this guy he's cheering on his teammate you know what i mean he's cheering on his teammate and then i shoot a three he's trying to yell at me and he's trying to turn off and i got him in his face you already know and i got 50 points off that so he woke me up off the side and then he pulled this trick out of michael jordan's book and i was wondering well, how did he do that i was just showing the handles the post moves the spins and i got the green light and the foul so you already know what that means you know i'm going to send to the line and you know that's gonna mean again i'm gonna get another free shot so um, as we are getting re right now into it, Zion Williams is sitting on the bench taking some breathers and I'm over here trying to bust some breath and uh, uh, and I hit that green light, the green bean, you know what I mean? Get that guac. Oh my goodness. I try to hit another shot to take it into another quarter. It didn't end up falling down. We ended up breaking off into the going into another quarter that will require us to um, capture another um very huge quarter to go and take the lead up as much as we can take it so the assist of the game and this is by state farm had to be towards um my roommate towards really good wilder i think his name is wilder but um yeah 
it was really good. It was really good. It was a really good dunk. I think it was really good because he could have did. I seen some really crazy ones highlight reels wise where Jared Green almost put his head in the rim where he would did off the windmill, and it was pretty crazy. But like you know, what I mean, a finish is a finish. You know what I mean? And I got another green light. Got foul. Got sent to the line. Got some good free throw shots. I don't know. Tell me what kind of jump shots you guys are rolling with when you guys are shooting out there. Um, when you guys are shooting free throws because, you know what I mean, it makes the bigger difference when you need every single one. You know what I mean? Get into that paint and the ferociousness of that yell, bro. That yell was heavy. Oh, man. He was throwing it down. He was definitely enjoying himself. Guys are dapping him up. He ain't saying nothing. He keeping his mouth quiet. You know what I mean? I had to do my tattoos as well, man. I got to get a lot of clouds in here. You know what I mean? I got to add some more flavor towards my tattoos and put it on the surface around. So I use that clouds as my base on my arm. But I'm still hot and thirsty at the same time. So I got my takeover and I'm thirsty right now. Gatorade is telling me you need an endorsement deal after this. Oh my goodness, I'm throwing it down with authority. I'm making sure that everybody's staying participating in the game, getting their assists. And RJ Bennett sneaks in with the layup. And the timeout was right there because we don't want him to get cooking because New York knows as much as we do. You got to keep it quiet over here. It's too loud over here with that noise, man. He definitely going to wake up. So there's a player of the... um game right now so far they're giving it to um lucky lynn um the character lucky lynn is the character i'm using and they're giving it to him and what happens is it's just like oh my gosh all that action man sideline yelling in my ears and hitting threes oh my goodness and i'm already have 67 points six rebounds and nine assists in the rising all-star game okay for the rookies and sophomores Okay, so I'm happy to be here again and um, be particip uh, participating in something like this. And it's bigger than me in general, man. I think it's just an honor in general. Um, I get the ball. He swings the ball to me. I throw it up to one of my teammates. And he finishes it. Oh, my goodness. Dick with the finish. Oh, my gosh. You guys got to let me know, man. Have you guys ever been to Dick's before, man? I heard it's like a um, sports kind of a location where you can grab some great, great, great workout gear, man. I got to know about that. Okay, so I pulled to the rim. Foul and one. He was on the side of me, and I attacked that weak defense, and he was nowhere to be found. And he now my character has 69 points, touching 71. 70 points and 11 assists so as we're sitting down on the bench and getting some air and we're just watching the time run now man i just appreciate you guys if you guys like and subscribe and come back to the channel and show me some love man show this channel some love for the gamers who willing to edit this and and make these little scene cut happens and likewise you get to play with this character too if you hit me up on my psn or you let me know that you want me to add you i can do that hit that subscribe button and like this video man and i'll be greatly appreciated of all your effort and i appreciate you guys stay safe and that is another nba 2k video my name is chris dash i hope to see you guys all again soon and more to come in the near future peace